I'm about to give away all this money. Not all of it, half of it. <laughs> day 13, I'm in Thailand. I think it's day 13, I don't know. I'm not very good at keeping track of the days at the moment. So, yesterday was an absolute stink show uh, and I was just hung over all day. But today, I'm back on the trusty Wiz app and I'm going to the airport to Bangkok. I was supposed to fly there yesterday, but I booked the flight for the wrong day, so now I'm going today. That's the plan, that's where we're going. I've got to go drop off this Wiz app. I need to go pay for this. And then we're gonna go and get on a plane and go to Bangkok and then tomorrow, the day after, I'm going to Vietnam, baby. So come along. All I've got to say is let's get straight. Whoa, into this, whoa, whoa. <laughs> into this bitch. Hello, my friend, how are you? All finished, finito. All good. You are okay? Oh, all right. Like, yeah, I just put petrol in as well, so it's all topped up. Let's have a look. Oh, I want a helmet. For you. <laughs> my brother. <laughs> hey, okay, I need you to go? pay one day, yeah. I've got you some money this time. 260. Okay. Thank you, brother. That's okay, you keep okay. the change. Okay, go, come and grab, my guy. Have a good day, yeah? Good tip for you. Yeah, yeah. top my guy. Happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> right, and now my flight leaves in two hours from Chiang Mai Airport, which I'm about 20 minutes away, which I think is fine. Let's do a temperature check. Doesn't seem too bad today, does it? No, it doesn't seem it, but it literally is. Hey Siri, what is the temperature? It's about 38 degrees outside. 38? No, it's not. It can't be 38. Am I just actually climatized now? I can actually, I can hack it. Who am I? I'm a traveler. <laughs> Let me go to a shop and then we'll, oh, my man's still got the helmet on, look. Bless him. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's go to the shop, get a couple of, oh, I can't buy too much bloody water because I can't take it to the airport. I just need a drink. So we're going to go to the shop, get me a drink get to the airport, maybe bang out a couple of food reviews in the airport, do you know what I mean? Because I know I'm not really making any TikTok or Instagram content because I've been so focused on YouTube, because I love YouTube. I actually way prefer making this type of content, just nice and slow and easy paced, and I'm not having to go like this all the time and go, yeah, I've got a McDonald's little... Like, mate, chill out, bro. Relax, okay? <laughs> I mean, I do making that content as well, but it's just nice to be able to be a bit more free-flowing, do you know what I mean? Anyway, yes, cut to me with a flipping nice cold drink in my hand. While we're here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button. Look at this, they use bamboo ladders. Hello. Bam the ladder's bamboo. Is it made from bamboo? Oh, yeah. What's it made from? Uh, metal. 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 Okay. It's not metal, is it? It's bamboo, I think. <laughs> oh, that looks, oh, that fish there. That looks half eaten, mate. Looks like someone's already had a scan on that, Dad. <laughs> oh my God, where's the 7-Eleven? This is the longest anybody's ever walked in Thailand and not seen a 7-Eleven. It's like in London, right? They say you're always five meters away from a rat. That's the same here in Thailand, except not rats. It's 7-Elevens. Look, there's one there. I'm saying there's not 500 meter radius without another 7-Eleven, which is awesome. Okay, it's great. I'm not moaning. I love it. <laughs> Yo, look at this. This mannequin looks evil, bro. <laughs> That's one way to make you buy a suit, scare you into it. Okay, 7-Eleven, baby. Oh. oh, it's so nice. Right, we're going to get an ice cream and a drink, and then we'll go to the airport. But let me get a taxi and some food, and then we'll go down. Where are you going, brother? All right, thank you. Thank you, brother. Have you have a good day, man. Thank you very much. He is a good guy. Anyway, right, we're here at the flipping airport. Who do I think I am without my mouth? Please, not bad. Um, okay, so we're at the airport. Oh, I've just booked a hotel room for Bangkok and it's cost me £23. Um, so let's see. It actually looks all right, to be fair. I just, uh, all, I, all I ever look at when I'm looking at booking a hotel is that the, the pillows look nice and the shower looks all right. Okay, I don't really care about location. Obviously, I want location, 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 location. <laughs> You're running that, Dan. Anyway, let me check in because they're not the biggest fans of uh, cameras in airports, are they? So let me check in, get through security, and then I'll come back to you, Daniel boys. Right, I think I've secured an extra legroom window seat. Seat. 
Although I've not got it yet. The woman told me which ones was available. So hopefully no one comes in after me and buys it. Then we know where we're going. 19A. Oh, I'm looking forward to going back to Bangkok though. Do you know what I mean? Nice to hustle and bustle. 20, I don't even know where my next flight is. Let's have a look where my flight to Hanoi is. Uh, it's 6.35 p.m. So I've got all fucking, I've got all day with my fucking bag. Oh, hopefully I've got a nice hotel and they'll let me just leave it there to be fair. So we'll go. We're not going to moan. I'm stop moaning. I've realised I moan a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. All I do is moan all the time. I actually do. I'm having a great time. Somebody messaged me going, oh, it doesn't look very good. Looks like you're not having a good time, mate. I'm, like, I'm having the fucking time of my life. <laughs> Don't know why I can't just enjoy myself. <laughs> I've just had a stinker, yeah? I'm just like getting my money out of my bag. I thought, where's my money, mate? I had a thousand in there. Mate, the bloody, the you know, who's got it? <laughs> Someone's got it. The bloody moped man. I had a deposit on the bike and I just turned up, didn't I? I put the helmet on him thinking I'm dead funny. No. Not funny, he's got a thousand bar of mine. That's like 20 quid, mate. Flipping hell. Thank you very much. Just like that, baby. I don't know why I'm rushing. I need to let these people go in front of me. Right, I'm feeling super confident about this extra leg room window seat. What I'm not confident about is my 23 pound a night hotel room that I've just booked. Oh God. I thought, let me save some money because when you're only staying for one night, you leave at 11, 12 in the morning. Do you know what I mean? And you can't check into the next, whoa, just lost me bloody shoe. You can't check into the next hotel till three. So it's a bit like, oh, what am I paying for? There's not, unless you're staying somewhere nice, if you stay, it's, it's only worth booking somewhere nice if you're staying on a prolonged period of time. For one night, it's just not worth it. Still looks like a decent hotel, to be honest. And then we're gonna plan out Hanoi, I'm not really going to plan it, I'm just going to turn up and wing it, as you do, you know how we do, after a window seat or two. Saldikra, yeah she certainly can. Thank you. Thank you very much darling. Oh, front row's available as well. Right, front row's available, but it's got the, the pads like this and I don't like the pads. And if you go down to the middle rows, look, there's actually gaps in between. There's logic behind the madness, don't worry. Brother. See what I mean? This has got the gap. Anyway, here we go. Premium. Premium gang. <laughs> but in a weird turn of events, I'm actually sat in 17K, which is the seat she gave me. The bloody sweetheart already gave me, or she, I don't know what happened, but I've just gave me extra leg room window seat for free. What a beauty. Shout out your mums and dads. <laughs> Let's get into this bitch. Why do you have to wear seatbelts on an aeroplane? What the hell is a seatbelt going to do if we have a crash out of the sky? Maybe even a crash helmet would make more sense. I'd rather wear a helmet than a seatbelt on an aeroplane. That's mental. Just like that man's back in Bangkok. So, one thing that I found weird, uh, and it happened last time, I didn't say anything because I thought nothing of it, but it's happened again. You know, if I'm getting off the flight, if you're two rows behind me, but you stand up first and you manage to work your way up next, like just behind my seat, and then I stand up as, as the crowd's moving, you're not entitled to go in front of me. I'm next. Just because you stood up quicker doesn't mean you're next. But apparently here, that's not the rule. Another question that people have been asking me is, because you can buy weed here, can you take on a flight? Yes, you can. You can have weed in your pocket and get on a flight in an airport. I mean, I wouldn't do that. That's mental, okay? You'd have to have some sort of brain injury to do that. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go straight from the airport to the hotel, drop the bags off, straight out into Bangkok. Let's see what mayhem we can get up to tonight, okay? I'm not gonna drink too much. I'm not, I'm actually not. I actually swear down, I'm actually not. There's gotta be something mad happening tonight. I wanna go to like an underground fight club. I was told about um, shrimp gambling. Apparently there's a place you can go where you fish for shrimp and then when you pull your shrimp out, you guess how much it weighs in grams and depending on how close you are, depends on how much money you make. That sounds sick. So hopefully we're gonna find some un underground gambling ring. Okay, we're getting, we're getting straight into this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> no worry, brother. For how long, 40, 38 minutes? Uh, 38 minutes. 38 minutes, beautiful, mate. And we have arrived. Oh, hello sir, how are you? Good to meet you. He didn't squeeze my hand then, he just held it out. <laughs> that was weird. Anyway, um, I'm a bit concerned because as we pulled in, we're like underneath like a subway bridge and mm, I don't want to speak bad about it. It just doesn't look great, does it? Let's go check out this room, Dan. I just need to check in, brother. Okay, you are... Hello. 
passport, yeah. Is there any chance? Is there any chance I could have free room upgrade? Upgrade the room for free? If it's if it's available that is. You know, chuck me on the top floor or something. Usually if you just ask, right, because if the room's free, why not just put me in that room? It still it doesn't cost them any money. The cleaning fee's still the same, do you know what I mean? I just get a better room. It's worked once. Maybe twice, it's worked twice, but I've only ever tried it three times, so it's a pretty good success rate. Which way? The, up, up the left. This, this oh, that, the next building. Yeah. Okay, listen, it's always, always, always been a bad sign. Anytime I've gone to any hotel and they say, they give you a key and they go, yeah, it's go across the road, go to that other building, because the reception is usually in the building with all the good stuff and all the good uh, rooms. So I'm a bit worried about this, to be honest. So I've definitely not got an upgrade. That looks all right, actually. When I booked it, look at that. Maybe I am in the good part. You never know. Right, why am I taking the stairs and I've got all these bags? What's going on here? Oh, okay, now, Dan. Do you know what I mean? It looks a bit like the surrounding area could maybe do with a little bit of painting and decorating, we shall say. <laughs> this is what £23 a night in Bangkok gets you. Oh, it's dark. Let's put the light on. This is what it gets you. Why is it still so dark? What the f***? There's only one light switch. Is this a joke? Bro, look. There's one light switch, but there is another. That's not even a light. That's not a light. It's a fire alarm. Is this a joke? Oh, because I'm not laughing, mate. What the f... Uh, why do hotels have all come together around the world and collectively said, let's not put a big light in the room? Why? What are we gaining from this? Oh, a little lamp. Oh, a little lamp for the little baby. I feel like I'm hidden away in a basement and I'm not supposed to make any noise in case the soldiers find me. I'm not joking. I'm not even joking. There is barbed wire. There is, obviously I can't open a window. Oh, I can. There's barbed wire outside of my window. Wow. Wow. 23 pound a night. I mean, you can say you can't moan, but that's probably the line for me. Mate, the last time I saw barbed wire and a fence like that, okay, I was in Poland, okay? You can put all the pieces together, I'm sure. <laughs> right, I'm gonna do my editing for yesterday's video, then we're gonna upload it and we're gonna head outside. After a few technical difficulties with my uploading the video, because this is the problem with doing daily vlogs, it's actually really hard when you're uploading on Thai internet to make sure you've edited, uploaded, and done all the work. So, I'm not gonna moan about it, it is what it is, we're dealing with it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna take out 5,000 money out of the bank and I'm gonna give it to the first person that I think deserves it. Not a homeless person, because I don't like filming a homeless person. Um, what, do you know what I mean? Maybe somebody, I might just tip 5,000. I've always wanted to do this, right? But I've never had enough money. Uh, and I know it's only about 100 quid in the UK, but it's probably like a week's wages to some of these people in Thailand. So come on, let's go and do a good deed for once. <laughs> Instead of just getting drunk and being a complete knobhead. <laughs> I'm not actually walking anywhere specific. I'm just gonna walk randomly this way and let the universe decide where I end up. First cash machine I get to, I'll take the money out, and then from there, we'll try and find someone worthy of the cash. Oh my god. No, yes, no, the boys. No, 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 I've got a flight tomorrow and I've got videos to make. Hey, we're hashtags changing. <laughs> okay, we've found the ATM and I've got my card and ironically it says this card is only for making bad choices. I think this is probably going to be a good choice. Maybe get some bit of good karma coming back for me for one. I just feel like the people in Thailand have been really good to me, yeah? And like Thai people are really nice, so let me just give a little bit back. It's not much. I'm, I'm making this out to be way bigger than it is. It's 100 quid, mate, chill out. But actually, I just think to these people, 100 quid is a f***ing lot of money. It's a lot of money to me, mate. You know what I mean? I'm going to cry about this tonight. If I don't get a bloody good reaction on this YouTube video. <laughs> Imagine I just give it and they go, oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, I'll be so stressed. I'll say, sorry, can we film that again? <laughs> right, well, I think this is a good idea. What I should do is go up to a street vendor that's selling something and I'll say, oh, how much for all of it? And they'll be like, X amount. And I'll say, f***ing, I'll buy it all. <laughs> oh, this feels good, you know, thinking about doing something nice. Maybe I don't even have to do it. Just think about doing it and I feel good. <laughs> well, what are you selling? Oh, his juice? Yeah. How much for all of it? 
How much for everything? All of it, yeah. One hundred twenty. Yeah. Okay, that's one thousand. Okay, <laughs> you can keep that. Oh. That's for you. Okay. Sorry, the crowd. <laughs> no, <laughs> that was nice. So I thought rather than just give it all to one guy, look, this guy's just on the floor. There you go, brother. There you go. Thank you, brother. <laughs> he probably needs it more than anybody else. <laughs> oh shit. You know. <laughs> Do you see it? soon came to life didn't he when he saw that money whoa <laughs> that was like a shot of adrenaline straight into his heart <laughs> oh you know i also have another idea where you can win money okay <laughs> if anybody wants how much is a good price i'd say if anybody wants 200 pounds if you get mash tag tattooed on you at least this big okay at least the size of my wood <laughs> at least this big I'll, buy, I'll send you 250 quid, okay? I'll do it. First person though, okay? It's only the first person does it. So if two of you do it, and then I'm like, oh, I've already given the money away. Unfortunately, you're not gonna get the money, but I'll have a, you'll have a piece of me on you forever, okay? We'll have a connection. <laughs> I am not advising to do that, okay? I'm just saying, if you want to do that. <laughs> Let's find somebody else for this money, Dan. Right, I'm gonna have a quick pit stop for a beer because bloody thirsty work giving out all this money. <laughs> no, it's actually hurting me inside, to be fair. Hello. Uh, I just want one beer, one chang. Perfect. Have you got a glass? Cup. Saudi crab, uh, cop and crab. I'm f so bad at this language, mate. I don't even, it's like embarrassing to say it out loud. Look where we are. Hey, hello, the brother. Hey. Yeah, we just, this is like the tiniest little bar. 100 bar, which is about two quid for this big ass bottle of beer. That's a bargain, bro. Oh, and we're near Coastline Road as well, so everything's just stupid expensive. Oh, there we go, Dan. <sighs> too hot man it feels hotter now than it did when it was 38 degrees one beer sunk okay let's get back to the vlog i am in a predicament right because i've got nothing else to do and it's currently 10 past 10 and i could go out and get on the rats i'm trying not to i'm really trying not to it's just like oh what else am i supposed to do? get back to the hotel boring <laughs> Bro, there is so many homeless people, I didn't even realise bro, and I actually feel bad now that I'm going to go out and give this money to non-homeless people, but I don't want to film them, I'm in a predicament, I want to help, because I'm trying to make content, which I think it would be good to like give random Thai people, because Thai people are poor anyway, oh f*** it, we're going to give it him, here you go Danielson, there you go, 1000 for you, have a good day, yeah? Let's just pick a random winner. Let's just pick a random winner, okay? And then I'm gonna go out and get on the beers. Come on! No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm in a real predicament, right? Because I probably just feel like, ooh, does it make me look like a right wanker? Like, oh, look how much richer I am than you. Have some of my money. I'm not even giving them like bare money. I'm giving like 20 quid. So am I, oh. I don't know, this is probably the last time I'm gonna do anything nice. I'm just gonna go back to drinking booze every day. <laughs> right, I found a taxi man here that's, cut, that's cleaning his taxi. Hello, brother. Hello. Hang on. Are you, are you a hard worker? No, are you a hard worker? No. No, you are? Okay, I got a present for you. 2,000 baht for you. You won't take it though? Oh, that's saying he's a good guy, man. Okay, I'll tell you what, let me give you a 1,000. And you give the next person their ride for free. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I speak English a little. Okay. Okay. No problem. I'm not going to force someone to take the money. <laughs> oh, that's how you know he's a nice guy, man. I'm not going to show you, but there's six people currently sleeping around a tree. How's doing something nice turned into me feeling bad? <laughs> Why am I feeling bad? Right, I'm going to get a tuk-tuk and I'm going to get him to drive me one meter and I'm going to pay him a thousand. Hello, brother. Can I just get a lift down the road? Just down there? Okay. Just, just down there, mate. Just keep driving that way and I'll tell you when to stop. Let's see how short I can make this journey. Yeah, just that way, that way. <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay. Oh, oh, wait, just, just, yeah, just here, mate. Just here, ah, oh, wonderful. How much is that, 1,000? Huh? Thank you very much. Good journey, oh. best journey ever. Yeah. Okay, thank you brother. Thank you. Hey. And there we go, the money's all gone. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit like. I'm gonna go and have a 
couple of parties to celebrate getting a YouTube video done again. <laughs> I love you all. Shout out your mums and your dads. Safe.